Shine with me, align with me. Yeah, integrity is a great, a great topic because it, it is more in line with what you were saying, what everything you think and say and do is, is really coming into more, we'll call it an alignment, like even that the little chart that I've shown sometimes, it's in Awakening Through Force of Miracles, the, the, the concentric circles with desire in, in the center, and then belief, then thought, then emotion, then perception. Those rings, it's really, there's a, in that diagram, there's like a slice, it's right down through the rings, almost like if you were slicing, it's like it's slicing an orange, and you could just slice right through, that that slice that goes through all those rings of mind is what the integrity is about. It's really alignment. So that not only everything you think and say and do comes into alignment, but, but more than that, even what you feel and your perceptions come into alignment with that, uh, with the miracle. And that's what true integrity is. So, so what it is, is a sense of wholeness, you're left with a feeling of wholeness, and it's based on guidance. In other words, when you start looking at it, and you start looking out, and you start to look at people, and examples, and so on and so forth, and, and what the behaviors are, uh, or even what the words are spoken, um, it's really a call to come inward into an experience, because that's where the integrity is. It's, it's, it's an integrity of mind. But it's also good to ask questions. I mean, I think those are very, very good questions. Um, I was actually in California a few weeks ago, and uh, I was on my way back to Utah, and uh, yeah, I was having <coughs> lunch, or actually it was more like a brunch, I was very happy, and uh, I was just, all this joy was flowing out, and uh, this man I was having bre breakfast or brunch with, Stu, he was like saying, well, for someone who's living in the moment, you have an awfully big what. <laughs> he was like saying, it's really big. <laughs> he was distracted in the conversation. Blinded by the light. <laughs> the reflection off of it. And I said, yeah, it's like, I generally don't wear watches unless I have got a lot of things scheduled and that's just, sometimes the spirit will turn my head towards watches or whatever, you know, or that will be a way that the spirit speaks to me. Sometimes it's through words, sometimes it's through feelings and so on and so forth. But it's, it's loosening away from the, from the form. Like another thing is, it's like, well, if everything's just in the flow and you're perfectly cared for with divine providence, then why would you ever even carry money, or why would you even carry a credit card? And generally, I don't, unless it seems to be where I'm moving out and about uh, in time and space, and in airports, and in places, and this and this and this, and there have been times where I, I have and I haven't, but it's just starting to see that all the things of form are just symbols that the Spirit uses. The words are symbols, the money is symbols, the watch is a symbol, the clothing is symbols, and so forth. And it's really a call to get in touch with the purpose that's underneath that. Like we aren't, when we talk about, uh, like, um, the world I see holds nothing that I want, which is Lesson 128 in the workbook. It's important to not go into that the world I see holds nothing that I want, and try to feel like there is a need to go into like asceticism, where you actually have to start renouncing the world based on some set of criteria. Like, okay, if the world I see holds nothing that I want, then I'll never do this and this and this and this again to prove the world I see holds nothing that I want. Which is more, it's more in line with what you were saying, is you just want to feel that you can really be you, without any judgments. You know, I want my, if my, don't dye my hair, then that feels natural. You know, it feels easy and natural. I don't want to be judging myself or have other people uh, judging my appearances. Or if I wear this or I wear that. Um, the spirit will, remember the spirit will sometimes use contrast experiences to kind of demonstrate things or show things, but then it, it all kind of eases into the miracle where you have this 
we'll call it a, a, an integrity of mind where the attention is no longer split and you're not distracted by the things of the world. You're just into the, the free flow of it. Um, with things like cosmetics or makeup, you know, it may be like a free flow where you go through the days and the months and generally wouldn't even have a thought of putting on makeup and then uh, maybe you're doing a uh, television interview or whatever, something like that, and it feels like the most helpful thing. It's just like given to whatever, have to use some makeup or something in those kind of days. I mean, I was in Colombia one time and, and uh, they came out to where I was staying and they were going to do a television <coughs> interview with one of the, the Kali TV stations, and the host got all dressed up and makeup and her hair in a certain way for the whatever for the evening news or whatever and she sat down next to me and all the people that were around me and everything and she just she felt all the love and she just ah her head just dropped back. And she just oh it's just so much love. And she was just enjoying the whole experience. And then they, the makeup people started to come over to me and she kind of waved them off, like leave him alone. Like, don't touch him, he's fine just the way he is. But I was willing, you know, they were going to powder me up and powder my nose or whatever, you know. It's like, okay, whatever, you know. And, and I think that's part of the relax, relaxing ease that you get in, because, you know, it's like, it's like whatever serves. You're just in a state of non-judgment, you know. If, she, if they come up and put powder all over me and whatever, that would have been fine. They chose to wave it off. There are times I think, um, I have noticed that the way the Holy Spirit works as I've traveled around the world is the Holy Spirit doesn't want there to be a focus and an emphasis on form when the message is being shared. So, for example, if I go to a country or a culture, the Holy Spirit will oftentimes dress me like the people where I'm at. So it's like the character of David will blend in, look like everybody else. So like, well, like when I'm over in Hawaii, I, this is just a lot of flowery shirts. <laughs> it's more flowers than I've ever seen. I'm wearing lots of flowery shirts, more so than anywhere else. And I remember there was that story, Kirsten just left this morning, but we went down to Colombia. And we went to Colombia and we were down there and uh, we were do, going to a lot of gatherings and everything, and um, basically the host who was hosting us was was just looking at Kirsten and what she was wearing, and she was just mm, rolling her eyes because it wasn't in Cali, Colombia. Kirsten's dress it was standing out. It was really standing out. I could feel the vibe, and so finally I I went to Kirsten. And I said, well, you know, what they don't need here in Cali, Colombia is uh, Mary Poppins. Uh, they just don't need that. And she's like, what? What? And I said, I said well, let's, we're staying with my host, Lily. Why don't you uh, let Lily take you shopping and I'll come with you? And Lily was wearing like a tank top every day. She looked like Miss Universe or Miss World with her breasts hanging out, and so it was really perfect for Kali. Everybody <laughs> looked the same way. A lot of plastic surgery and, you know, look like Miss Universe pageant or whatever down there <laughs> every day <laughs> in the streets, everywhere you go. And I talked to Kirsten about it. She said, she said I'm very self-conscious. I don't want to be teaching A Course in Miracles and bearing any breast uh, while I'm teaching A Course. I said, well, it's actually quite distracting for the people down here. A number of the women have come up and they're quite distracted by the, by you're not <laughs> very any breast down here in <laughs> Colombia. So let's you go shopping, I'll come along and, and so Lily took her out and got her all these low cut tops and dresses, <laughs> tank tops and so on and so forth. And after we came back, Lily was like, There, now you've got your wardrobe. Bright colors, brilliant reds and oranges and yellows. Like a too, yeah, I think 
maybe a mini skirt thrown in there too. And this and this, Lily was just so excited. <laughs> and and yeah, after that we went to the gatherings, and the people, us, the men and the women, came closer to Kirsten. Uh, it was more like a drawing, like a moth to the flame. They were more because they could relate to her. I mean, this this is a tropical climate. This is a tropical climate. I, I said enough with the turtleneck <laughs> sweaters in Cali, Colombia. You know, you're standing out. You know, it's standing out. It's it's distracting away from the message. You know, let's get into some of these tank tops and and so forth. So that's just kind of an example. It wasn't so much based on her personal preference. It wasn't so much based on her past <coughs> learning or her sense of style or fashion. It was. If the Holy Spirit is going to be using the puppets, let the Holy Spirit dress the puppets. The integrity is in the listening and the following the Holy Spirit. That's where the alignment comes, because the source is the one that knows the way out of the dream. The source is the one that knows what is best in every single circumstance. What's the best thing to say, what's the best thing to wear, you know, those kind of things. And I've seen people over the years that were like um, one person I was traveling with, she'd been in the convent from age 14 to 22. And when she was traveling with me down in Florida, the Holy Spirit guided her to a Course in Miracles group at a nudist colony. People go, the Holy Spirit would never send anybody to a nudist <laughs> colony. Come on, David, you guys, you people, you messengers. You think you hear the voice for God, but the Holy Spirit is never going to guide anybody to a nudist colony. But yes, she had, from 14 to 22, she had a lot of body issues. There was a lot of guilt, you know, in the Catholic system, you know, the body and guilt and this and this. And, and she was guided to go to A Course in Miracles group at a nudist colony. They wore their clothes because the people at the nudist colony said, well, we don't want to, we have mostly people from outside the nudist colony that come to the course meeting and we don't want it to be distracting. And the Holy Spirit has guided us to wear clothes during the meetings and then if people hang around and they want to stay and be, be part of the community, then, then they can take their clothes off. But it was very practical in that way. Um, another time when I was with this friend Beverly uh, I was in Sedona, Arizona, and she was guided by the Holy Spirit to go skinny dipping in the creek beds of Sedona. Same thing, loosening up. And it can go the other way, if you've had seemingly whatever, a very seemingly promiscuous, or kind of a, you're kind of the show-off <laughs> vanity with the body, the Holy Spirit can go the other way, for contrast. Say, try this one on. <coughs> try this turn like sweater on. <laughs> what? I'm not going to wear that turtleneck sweater. <laughs> oh, okay, if you think I should try it. You know, it's, it's, it's more the willingness to loosen from the past associations and to come into alignment with the Spirit. And that's why we can't really judge based on the form for what's going on for somebody else. You know, we don't know what the lesson is. We don't. You know, who among us, you know, has the full comprehension of everything that's going on in the plan of the universe for awakening to be able to judge another and say, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. a little too much lipstick on there, the Holy Spirit, but never <laughs> have you put that much lipstick on. <laughs> Shine with me.